Hey, what's up guys, it's Number One Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer gameplay. And there'll actually be two gameplays in the video, so I've, you know, double-treated you guys for not uploading the gameplay yesterday. That's because I was doing class setups and tips, and you guys seem to really like the reload tip that I gave, and people seem to be benefiting off that, which I'm really glad to hear, um, because it does help me a lot. Although I still double-tap uh, place the... the uh, square button all the time just because I'm impatient like that but it doesn't really matter <laughs> so anyways jumping into the gameplays the first one will be like a merciless medal that I went on um, on like my third ever game which is pretty cool and uh, that was on TDM and the second gameplay is where I actually go and achieve a paladin which is actually the highest score streak in advanced warfare and in, the, in that gameplay the second gameplay you guys can actually learn how I did it because I did a pretty cool job um, a pretty smart way of earning that paladin and I manoeuvred myself really carefully across the map so try and take note of the second gameplay but uh, it's not about the gameplay at all in this video it's going to be about the game in general and my actual first impressions of it and overall my first impressions are it's, it's an alright game it's, 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 it's a more promising start than Ghosts had in my opinion but it does have its flaws so what I'm going to be doing today is highlighting what my what the pros are of the game, in my opinion, and what the cons are. I'm going to start off with the pros because that's what always, you know, is always the best thing to do. Start with the best and then end with the worst. So, first of all, I'm liking the maps. I really like the maps. They're a lot more, you know, they're they're much better than Call of Duty Ghost ones, hands down. I mean, they're more user friendly for the exo movements and stuff like that, and it's just so much more useful to play on um, when you're using those exo movements and manoeuvring around the map. It's just easier to play on, and it's just it's just more enjoyable to play on, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, the second thing I like is that the uh, game is a lot more fast paced than Ghost, and that maybe. Part, partly because of the maps, but it's also because of the exo movements. I was in doubt of the exo movements at this when I was watching the trailers and stuff. I was like, nah, nah. but actually, I'm I'm gonna start to get used to it, and I'm gonna understand that it's actually a really good part of the game. And I got lucky that that recon drone didn't call in, and I was able to stab one of the guys in the back without them noticing me, which is cool. But um, anyway, so another thing that I do like are the guns. The guns are really balanced. Um, the two guns that I do like the most are the AK-12 as well as the BOW. The BOW is a really, really good gun. It's pretty much the honey badger of Advanced Warfare, which everybody loved in Ghosts. And I think everyone's going to love the BOW. And I did a class setup on that on that gun yesterday. So guys, make sure to go check that out in the description down below. You will not be disappointed. Those tips that I gave you for the gun are pretty cool. So um, make sure to go check them out. Uh, check the links out in the description down below if you haven't already. So... I like the guns, I like the maps, and I like the exo movements, and those are the three main things that I like about the game. Now moving on to the the negatives, so one thing I don't like is that the kill streaks take ages to get, and I, the one th the thing I don't like the fact that kill streaks yes that maybe they should be hard to earn, but they should be at least rewarding when you get them because a UAV on this game, if you was to stick direction, to stick speed and uh, duration on it. It comes up to 750 score, and on games like Hardpoint and Domination, which is what I've played the most, it's 50 points per kill. So given that you don't play the objective and you're more of like a slayer person, trying to get a go on streaks without risking your life on the objective, it's going to take you 17, no, 15 kills for a UAV. That's, it's just ridiculous, honestly. I mean, and the UAV will last like 45 seconds. And the thing is, the perk, what is called... I can't remember what the perk's called off the top of my head. But the perk that keeps you off the radar is absolutely spammed. And I can't... He can't... It just doesn't work. It's not fair. And also, a Paladin is 950 score. Uh, which I do achieve in this gameplay. And you'll see I get one kill in the whole t and the whole time it's up. It's, it's stupid, and that took me a long time. Obviously, I played the objective this game, but um, if I wasn't to play the objective and then probably take five or six minutes to get that, it would not be rewarding. The next thing I don't like is more of a personal one, and I know you guys may think, oh wow, seriously, at this one, but it's the fact that you can't see other people's stats in the other in in your lobby. 
and it's kind of annoying because you don't know who you're going up against in a lobby. I think they did that on purpose, but it's not really fair because you kind of want to prepare yourself for who you're up against. Like on Ghosts, I remember if I was up against like good players, I'd be using like more competitive classes. But if I was playing against noobs, then I'd use more of a pub stomping class. But on Advanced Warfare, it's just like a guessing game whether you think they're good or not, and that doesn't always work out. I just don't really like that to be honest. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not on that, but it's kind of annoying. And the last thing I don't like is the fact that you are a blue arrow on the minimap. That often has confused me in the game because I do play with like friends often, as you guys know, and they come up yellow, which is what you should be. And I always look on the minimap and see the yellow arrow and think that's me for some reason. And then it gets me killed because I'm in fact the blue arrow and the enemy was near the blue arrow, not the yellow one. I don't know if you guys think of it the same way. I just don't really like that. It confuses the hell out of me. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Overall, I'm enjoying the game somewhat. I mean, it's a good game. Uh, definitely a better step up from Ghosts. But we'll, only time will tell. I probably will get better at the game and uh, enjoy it more. But uh, until now, those are my first impressions. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and the gameplay. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Advanced Warfare content. Have an awesome day, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.